In this animation, we will discuss vibration monitoring of integrally geared centrifugal compressors, also known as IGC compressors. IGC compressors have two broad categories, large process compressors used in the air separation and refining industries, and package air compressors used to supply compressed air for machine tools and purging systems. The governing standard for the larger and usually more critical process compressors is API 617, and for packaged air compressors, API 672 is used. Regardless of the type of IGC compressor, each have the following parts in common. A large bowl gear, pinions to drive the impellers, impellers, radial bearings, thrust bearings, and a casing. You can see that the three stages of this IGC compressor get smaller as the pressure of the air or gas increases. This is called a three-stage IGC compressor or a three-poster compressor. The IGC compressor should be monitored with at least one MX8030 radial vibration proximity probe at each of the compressor impellers, mounted in the Y vertical position. The radial vibration proximity sensors are usually mounted in the gas seal next to the impeller or between the gas seal and the bearing if space allows. The Metrix MX8030 proximity probe, using the digital proximity system, has a tight beam. However, if you have less than one probe tip diameter clearance next to the probe, you can use the Metrix tight view feature to meet API 670 specifications even in a tight situation. Even in tight situations, the MX8030 is a precision proximity instrument. It can measure position and vibration changes to 0.1 mils or 2.5 microns peak to peak. In critical situations, a second MX8030 radial vibration proximity probe is mounted in the X horizontal direction. This will provide a better picture of the vibration of the rotor associated with the impeller. Due to the closeness of the proximity probes, one may experience crosstalk between the probes, like two radio station frequencies close together. Crosstalk can be observed when you have vibration with the machine not running. With the Metrix Digital Proximity System, you can alter one of the probe's oscillator demodulator frequencies using the free DPS software to eliminate the crosstalk. Industrial plants are using an MX8030 axial thrust proximity probe not only to monitor thrust position, but to also monitor axial vibration. Thrust position is useful to determine thrust bearing wear but thrust vibration can be an indicator of gear to pinion issues or compressor impeller load issues. A casing mounted SA6200A accelerometer mounted on the bull gear bearing is useful to monitor gear mesh frequencies or casing related issues. The high gear mesh frequency can be sensed by the SA6200A accelerometer. Depending upon the criticality of the machine, one usually finds that the packaged air compressors are usually monitored with a single proximity probe near each impeller using an MX2034 proximity transmitter with its output going to the control system. And in the process compressor case, each impeller is monitored with two proximity sensors in an XY fashion using two MX2033 drivers to a vibration monitoring system like the SW5582 channel monitor or other VMS. The Metrix proximity system not only has hazardous area ratings, but it also has a Safety Integrity Level 2, or SIL2, rating. A useful feature of our MX2034 proximity transmitter monitoring an IGC compressor is spike suppression. Random electrical noise from lightning, power surges, breakers opening or closing, and other electrical transients, or mechanical noise from debris passing between the probe tip and shaft surface are part of many industrial environments. These surges may affect the 4 to 20 milliamp output and can result in false alarms or trips. Because we sample at 18,000 times a second, we know when a vibration spike is not real. Using the free DPS software, the user can select spike suppression and any single-sided short duration spike will be eliminated. The spike suppression feature is used to eliminate false trips. The Metrix MX2034 proximity transmitter can be used for high-speed RPM measurements up to 100,000 RPM or 400,000 pulses per minute. The system can be ordered from the Metrix factory pre-configured 
or can be set up in the field using the free software downloadable from the metrics website. With the MX2034 proximity transmitter configured for speed or an MX2033 driver, you also have the ability to change the pulse height on a phase trigger or speed sensor. This is done with the machine running and by selecting the Advanced Features tab, Speed Pulse Adjustment. This gives you the ability to change the pulse height by changing the proximity system scale factor. Click on Get to obtain the current pulse height in DC volts peak to peak. If it is not adequate, use the slider bar to increase the pulse height. Most monitoring systems need a 6 volt pulse for an accurate phase trigger or speed reading. With the Metrix IGC compressor package, you can minimize unplanned downtime, avoid catastrophic failure, and plan your maintenance. Metrix makes your life easier by saving you time and money. In this animation, we discussed the proper vibration monitoring of integrally geared centrifugal compressors. We discussed how IGC compressors have two broad categories and how Metrix's scalable solution can meet your monitoring needs for both API 617 process compressors and API 672 packaged air compressors. For more information, please contact us or visit our website at metricsvibration.com.